is an athlete, and they're going to want to get up and down and play the way they're going to play this season with LaMelo Ball. When they have LaMelo Ball out there and Bridges and Book Knight guarded by Flynn, rocks it. Pull up jump shot, top of the key, that's a brick. Yeah, and that's not really what Kai Jones does. That, that's what he's trying. He's trying to work to get that, but making plays for himself off the dribble, pulling up, that's not his specialty. Running the court, setting screens, uh, being a finisher more than a facilitator, that's what he's going to do well, and that's where LaMelo Ball is going to make him a star. See, here comes yep. Angelo Ball for the first time in this game. Fan favorite here in Las Vegas. Bring it into the front court. Book Knight steps into a jumper, penetrates, kicks, Lewis. Nice no look pass on the baseline and an easy chance of game to do it on his own. Took them three minutes and 52 seconds to get on the board. Now Banton, Pogo stick, no. Jones with a rebound, outlet, book night. Averaging close to 18 a game here in the summer league and out of bounds. Kai Jones turns it over, fifth turnover for Charlotte to start this game, but Kai Jones is calling for the pill. Calling for the rocket for good reasons, because he can go up and finish strong with authority. Shoot the ball that well from three in college, only about 27%. Uh, but that's one of those things that can be a learned trait. As Kai Jones goes up for the rebound right there, gets it snatched away. Scotty Barnes can be a good shooter in this league, and all he has is defensive prowess. He'll be a guy that can make a lot of money in this league. Toronto turning the ball over down the lane is Kai Jones. And so I think Charlotte has had a tremendous offseason to start, and I think they're going to be a very good, good young team. Start of the second quarter. Banton, big hop off the glass, too strong. Fifteen up. 8.20 to go, top of the arc. That. Shot clock at four. Barnes sets his feet. Way off the mark on that one. And here come the Hornets in the front court. They push it off. Decisions. He can't wait. He's just understanding how defenses are playing him at this point in game two. He said he has to be stronger getting to the rim, so understanding how to be tough. When I was in college, now I could just come in and do the stuff that LeBron does all the time. It's not that <laughs> easy. Now I can really, like, let my game go. LeBron makes it look easy, doesn't he, LeBron? Kai Jones, born in the Bahamas, moved to the United States at the age of 11, then back to the Bahamas before high school to chase his dream of ever play, he cheated the game. Because that's how good he is. And my, my boy's like, he can't be that good. I said, I've never seen anybody that fast, that quick, that explosive, big, in that, in that type of body frame. I was like, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Emotional quotient is in another level. Yeah, he came into the game young, but he always understood the game. That's what made him, that's what makes him great as well. We took, talk about the app for a player that, like that. And I think that's why Chicago's going to be a very good team this year. A lot of people are going to talk about Milwaukee and, and Richards actually has that ability in this game. He can hit that face up 15 footer, so he has that type of skill. Quick release, Wainwright. No long rebound. Here come the Hornets in transition on the baseline. Riller with the left hand on the right side. No batted out of bounds. Just seeing that, yeah, he wasn't the same Michael Jordan to play with the Bulls, but the work ethic, the skill work, the footwork. You understood why he was the greatest of all time, just because of everything. Cross court, Champagne. Rebounded. Wainwright almost got a hand on it. I mean, almost got that to go back in. Meanwhile, Book Knight, and that was getting downhill, made that an easy tip in for Thor. Adams, 15 footer, no. Long give rebound. It up, give it up, big fella, give it up. Guy Jones trying to get loose. Sneed back to Jones. There Ball we go. Dribble. That's what he does. Rhythm and Malachi Flynn stepping up in the third quarter to help him get back in. 53-46, 2.30 to go here in the third. And that baseline jump shot. That's it that they love about this young man. Riller down the lane, slashing, kicks, top of the arc. Kai elevates. Guy right there. That's big time for the Hornets. He's got I mean, 13. That's big time for the Raptors. 13, 8 in the third quarter. Young man's growing right in front of our eyes. Ball hard down the lane, high off the glass. Great take. 58-51. Barnes now goes deep in the post after hitting the three. Turn around, Jay. No. Just short. Kai Jones the other way. Riller, cross court. Ball, rising fire. Why not? Why? 
50, 61, 51 rather. Meanwhile, oh my goodness. precious little quarter. So they figured some things out. Dutch Gately, the 34-year-old head coach of the Summer League squad. Ty Jones, duck 23 years old, played the G League. 13 games for Greensboro. You ever go some, I know you live in see players like Jalen Green who forego, who forego his chance to go to college with, to play professional basketball in the G League, and then things still worked out extremely year old. Fourth overall pick. I tell you what, he doesn't look 19. Like he just has a, that grown man body frame. He just looks like he's been a little man. I see why he was able to bully guys in, in high school. He's just so st strong and physically imposing. Kai Jones in transition. And knocked. A lot of guys, it looked like a lot of redundancy on that roster. So these guys are going to have to fight for minutes. And it's going to be interesting to see who wins. Ty so, Jones battles. slipping. Griller there. And he'll lay it. Now Barnes squares. And fires a mid-range jump shot. Air ball. And he throws it away. Benton, outlet pass. Precious Euro step. Left hand off the glass. No. Kai Jones. And he has it taken away. Precious again. And this time, and lost it. Toronto can tie it with the deuce here. Precious to the hole. Ah, he missed it at point blank range. 